Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have two old drills and their batteries are dead. The product is too old, so it is difficult to buy batteries. I made a power supply so that it can work on 220 volts. If you are like me, this video is for you. The circuit operates on 220 volts. The output voltage is 12 volts with a current of up to 30 amps, suitable for most of today's drills. You can see that the drill is working very well and strong. It can easily penetrate a 20 millimeters thick wood board without any problems. I will show you how to do it in detail after the sponsor's advertisement. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. JLCPCB is the full-service electronic manufacturer. JLCPCB's innovative one-stop service model makes production highly efficient by tightly integrating EDA software, PCB fabrication, parts purchase, stencil cutting, and SMT assembly. Black Friday 2020 for deals from November 25th to December 15th. JLCPCB is offering massive discounts and incredible giveaways during its Black Friday sale. Enjoy savings of up to $252 and a guaranteed prize with every entry, including a chance to win a Samsung 55 gaming monitor or Genio drone. Now visit the link below description for exclusive deals and a chance to win amazing prizes. This is the result after one week of ordering from JLCPCB. The circuit is very nice and sturdy. You can download the circuit diagram and Gerber file via the link in the description. I have a lot of old computer power supplies. I will reuse the it to make a power supply for my drill. This is the control transformer using the E16 transformer. It has eight pins. I will use this transformer. The next components are the power transistors and diodes. This is the main transformer of the circuit. Note that look for a transformer with pins soldered together, like the transformer I have. We will need other components, such as capacitors, fuses, filter coils.
These are the components that I got from the old computer power supply. We need to check them carefully before installing them into the circuit. We only install diodes, resistors, and capacitors. Other components will not be installed in the circuit. After checking, we will supply to 120 volts and check the voltage across the two capacitors. Are they equal? We see that one side has a voltage of 166 volts, the other side is 140 volts. So these two capacitors are not good. We need to replace them by another two capacitors. And here is the result. The voltage between the two capacitors is equal. Next, I will install all the remaining components. Another note is that the transistor and the heatsink must be insulated from each other. The circuit is working. The voltage is about 12 volts. I will make it into a box. I have guided you on how to make a circuit to run a drill with a voltage of 220 volts. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. See you next time.